everybody and welcome to today's video. Today is a vlogmas day 14 I think, I hope, and we're working our way through vlogmas. There's literally 11 more days worth of videos. Also, I thought I'd just mention in this video, if you're wondering, which you're probably not, but I am kind of one day behind in a way because I was posting daily and it matched up to like the date. So for example, my vlogmas day one went up on the first whereas this is the 15th of december and this is vlogmas day 14 because i did miss one day however i'm still going to post 25 videos it's just going to be one day after so for example i'm going to be posting on the 26th of december instead of the 25th if you know what i mean so basically it's just going to be one day like later that i post but i'm still going to post all 25 videos that i had planned it's just i did miss a day because i had my assignment but today i'm going to do a festive makeup look not entirely sure what that means just we're going to improvise we're going to play with some colors that are like christmas vibed or whatever i don't know i am going to do a christmas get ready with me soon which is going to be a little bit more chatty and casual whereas this video is going to be just me mainly talking about the products and what products i use and that kind of thing so if you're like more interested in like actual makeup and me talking about the makeup then this is the video to go for but if you kind of prefer more chatty sort of videos then i've got to get ready with me coming on the weekend i think on sunday so first things first is i'm gonna put my headband in i cannot do my makeup when my hair is like this so here we go so i'm not gonna prime my skin today because i haven't actually been priming or using a primer before my makeup since i brought out my new product this is my fresh face by georgie carr hydrating gel moisturizer this is what i use as a gel moisturizer in the morning and also in the evening i put it on to bare skin and it's great for makeup because it's got glycerin in it which means it's a little bit tacky so when makeup applies to it it goes on really really nicely and well and it kind of sticks the foundation to your face a lot better and it lasts a lot longer throughout the day so that's what's good about that product so i've used that already i used that this morning as part of my skincare routine which just consisted of that that's all I use in the morning. My morning skincare routine is very simple, but my evening skincare routine is not quite so simple. But anyway, so I am now gonna crack on with the makeup. However, first video with the Christmas tree in the background, how exciting. If you didn't see yesterday's video, I did put up the Christmas tree, so check that out. But anyway, let's crack on with the makeup. So I need a mirror. I do have a few spots. My skin's not too bad at the minute. I haven't been amazing with my skincare routine recently, but it's not too bad considering I haven't been as consistent with my skincare as I normally am. So let's bring you in a little bit closer. Hello. So I always start off my makeup doing my eyes and my eyebrows first. So I'm gonna prep my like eye base with some concealer and I'm using the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Rose Porcelain Number no. One. So it's now looking a little bit scary and I'm gonna grab my powder. I'm using the collection Pressed Powder in the shade 18 Ivory. And I'm just gonna set that in place. And now I can do my eyebrows and my eyeshadow. So for my eyebrows, I'm gonna use this spoolie. I did actually sell these on my website, Fresh Face, but since I've moved over to Etsy and eBay for selling, um, which is what I'm going to be doing the whole of next year. I'm not selling these anymore and it's something that if I run out of sample pots um, that I include in orders, I actually throw a few of these in instead if I run out of sample pots. So that's quite handy to have. And yeah, I, I love spoolies. It just brushes through your brows and gets the hairs in the right place and everything like that. So I do love them. By the way, I will link my Etsy and my eBay in the description if you are interested. I will still be able to ship every order that you put in for Christmas if that's what you need. So I'm now going to take my little eyebrow compact from the body shop. It's the brow and liner kit in the shade number three. And I'm gonna take the lighter brown shade on the inner portion and then the darker kind of gray black shade on the outer portion on my eyebrow. I'm not gonna talk you through the whole process. I'm just gonna do it and speed it up. My 
eyebrows are about done. I don't really like my eyebrows these days. I don't know what the heck to do with them, but that will do for now. Now for eyeshadow, the reason why I actually do my whole kind of like eye base and everything in my eyes first is because it prevents fallout of eyeshadows um, kind of affecting your foundation. For example, if you've done all your foundation and everything, you then go in with like a pigmented eyeshadow that has fallout. It will get all over your face and it will just be an absolute mess and a pain to get rid of. So if you don't do your base before that, then you can just wipe it away before you do your base. So, I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow palette. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing today. I'm just gonna completely wing it and I'm gonna try and do something festive. I wanna include greens, I wanna include a red. I might start off with like an ombre thing. So I might start off the eye look with like a pale shade and then do like a red and then a green or a green and then a red. I think I'll do pale, green, red. We'll see how this goes. Um, but I am gonna take my Morphe 39a palette which is this one just here and i'm just going to take this shade here as a transition shade always got to use a transition shade and i'm just going to pop that into the crease of my eye and kind of bring it up a little bit the other day i was looking back i know i said i wasn't chatting in this video but i was looking back on old pictures on my instagram of my makeup and everything and i was thinking how the heck did i not like like how did I not realise how bad that looked? Like my eyebrows, my eyebrows looked like they'd literally been drawn on with a sharpie. Honestly, don't like, I'll never do that again, don't worry. But how do you not see it at the time? And then afterwards you're like, damn, like that wasn't even a trend or anything. So I don't know how that happened. But yeah, I'm just going to get a little brush that I can use to pack my shimmer shades on. I always use matte shades with a nice little fluffy brush so it's like fluffy um, and it's all blended out and then with like block colours I will use a flat brush like this. So I'm going to take this Extra Spice palette from Revolution, it's Soph X Revolution palette, I've had this for years, really love it, it's one of my favourites and I'm going to take the shade Infinity which is this one here so it's quite kind of like shimmery and powerful and I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner of my eyelid. I think when it comes to festive looks, we want to go for like shimmery things. In my Christmas Get Ready With Me, I am going to do like a proper glittery eye, but this is just like a hint of Christmas. Right, I'm then going to go in with the green. I'm going to go in with Aurora, which is this one just here. And that's going to be like the token green colour for Christmas. I'm not sure if it's going to be pigmented enough but I'm going to pop it in the middle of my eyelid and kind of blend it into the shade that we've just used. It's not the most pigmented of colours. Okay and then on the outer corner I'm going to use a red shade and I think I'm going to go into my Morphe palette actually for the red shade and I'm going to use this one here. It doesn't have like a name but I'm going to use this one which is very pigmented. So I'm going to be careful with that one. And that's going to go on the outer corner. Okay, so now we've done that. The green's not showing through too much but who cares like we're just trying our best here and I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend that slightly I'm not gonna take any color on the inner portion here because I want to keep that very plain but I am gonna take the shade lakes which is actually kind of like a greeny dark greeny shade and I'm just gonna pop that above where the green was placed so where we put the shimmery green it's not too pigmented which is good and then I'm going to take the shade 21 and that's going to be kind of like a, a ready kind of pinky shade and I'm just going to pop that where the red is on the outer corner slightly. Try not to do that too much just to kind of bring that colour that's on the lid up a little bit so it's not so it's a little bit kind of more on show. Okay, so the eyes are done. I'm now going to do the base of my makeup. 
So I'm just going to wipe away any fallout. I am going to do my under eyes, but I'm going to leave that till after I've done my foundation and everything. So I'm using my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. Mine's in the shade 21 nude beige. I'm just going to take one pump of this and I'm going to pop this around my face. I can see a lot of fallout actually on my face. So then now I'm putting foundation over the top of the fallout instead of it being over the top of the foundation. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and we shall blend. So that is the foundation done. I have got a completely dead leg, but we're gonna try and power through. So I'm gonna take that concealer that I used from the collection at the beginning again, and it's a really super, super light concealer. Well, this shade is anyway, um, because I'm using it to brighten up my face in the areas that I want to brighten. Don't necessarily use it to cover like imperfections or anything like that, because I honestly, do not care about spots or anything when it comes to covering them up. I think when it comes to skincare, that's when we need to try and tackle spots. So I have my tea tree oil, which is on my um, Etsy and eBay, linked in the description, that helps target spots. I've got my tea tree clay face mask, which is amazing for spots and clearing the skin. So that's where you need to start trying to get rid of spots, is in your skincare, not in makeup unless you've got acne then i do really feel for you because that needs proper medication i'm now powdering my face with my collection powder setting everything in place so I'm now gonna finish off my eyeshadow. I'm gonna do the under part of my eye. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna use. I just kind of wing it if I'm absolutely honest. I might use red on the outside and then a little bit of green. So I'm gonna go in with the red that's in my Morphe palette. Pop it in the outer corner of my eye, just slightly. I don't like too much eyeshadow on the lower lash line. And then green, I'm gonna take a little bit of that shade Lakes, just in front of that, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna highlight my inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna use this highlighting palette and I'm gonna take the white shade up here and I'm just gonna highlight the inner corner and my brow bone. I'm now going to contour using my sleek contouring palette in the shade Fair 372 and I'm just going to use the shade over here, tap it very lightly, contour a little bit of my cheekbone and also my jaw. I also like to contour slightly underneath my lip and my nose down my nose so I just contour my nose ever so slightly and I'll blend it out properly in a minute but it's very subtle so I'm now going to use bronzer I'm going to use my collection bronze glow bronzer in the shade matte and it's number one terracotta so I'm just gonna pop that on my forehead just to bronze up the look Bronzer is something I can't do my makeup routine without, even if I go for like a bit more of a simpler look, I always use bronzer. And then I'm gonna use some of my blush here. This is from Lidl and it's in the shade number three, Sweet Harmony. So it's just a blusher from Lidl super cheap but i really like it it's like a peachy kind of shade and that's my favorite kind of like blusher shade is a peachy shade 
and then finally i'm going to highlight using this highlighter palette i just picked it up off amazon i think i'm not sure it was super cheap anyway and i'm gonna mix these two shades together for my cheekbone it is actually a really nice highlighter palette and then for my nose i mix those two together and then i use this kind of yellowy shade for my cupid's bow I'm just going to kind of blend all of this out. I'm now going to take this eyeliner, which is from Lidl. It came as a kit. It was, you get this eyeliner and this mascara together for like £2 something. Well worth it, honestly. And it's such a good eyeliner. I could not recommend it more, if I'm honest. It's really good. Also, you'll notice that my eyebrow looks a bit weird. It's like growing underneath where I draw it on. I'm, I'm sorting my eyebrows out, basically. So that's all I've got to say, really. Um, but I just pop a little bit of this on the outer part of my lash line. Just to kind of thicken that up a little bit. And I just like how it looks. I don't really know what you call it, but that's what I do. Just as simple as that. No wing or anything like that. It's just like this. And I always, always, always do this. The only reason why I wouldn't do this is if I am doing a winged liner or if I've used glittery eyeshadow because I can't draw over glitter. Sorry, my camera decided to turn off. So if I've lost all that footage, I'm going to be very annoyed. Um, but yeah, I've done my eyeliner. So I don't know if I've lost any footage. If I have, I'm just gonna have to refilm this video. Um, I'm now gonna spray my face using a setting spray. It's not an actual setting spray. It's water mixed with a little bit of this vitamin C energizing mist and then i'm gonna do my mascara so yeah like i said i'm using this one from lidl my battery's low my camera battery's low so i'm trying to be quick okay mascara done I'm now gonna do my lipstick. I'm gonna use this lip liner from W7. It's in the shade Shiraz. And I'm just gonna really lightly line my lips. And then I'm gonna take this lip crayon from Beauty Big Bang and buff that into my lips. And that's when it's done okay so this is the finished sort of festive makeup look i know it's not like the most christmasy we don't have a christmas lip but i'm kind of focusing more on the eyes so for example so for example it starts off with like a nice glittery pale shimmery shade works out into a, a, a hint of green i know we can't really see the green and then we've got the red shade on the outside which i think makes it the most sort of festive part of this look but you kind of got to see like the current products i'm using and everything like that anyway so hopefully you enjoyed this video but this is my sort of everyday festive makeup look it's got a hint of christmas in it but you'll see another kind of christmasy makeup look in my get ready with me which is coming up on sunday and i think the thing i like most about this look is the ombre effect i really like eye looks where it starts off pale and goes red so i am happy with this look and happy with my lipstick choice and happy with the christmas tree in the background um but yeah without further rambling i will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day 15 it should be just a plain simple vlog tomorrow so see you then goodbye